To create a Python project, select Create, go to Python, and you can either choose one of these provided templates or you can create a new project. Let's select Create a New Project. Go to the left Python tab, select it, then select Python Project. This is our text code editor. It is broken up into three different columns. On the right is our preview column where we can see our code's output, and in the middle is our actual code editor. This is where you'll be editing your code. And then to the left is our sidebar. This is where you can see files, folders, and images. Let's start by clicking the word untitled and changing the name to greetings. And then hit the return key on your keyboard. Now let's create a new file by right clicking in the sidebar and then select new file and name it hello.py. Now let's get coding. Type in print hello and then click the play button to see our code's output. Notice this button right here. This is the save button. It has three different states. Saved indicates that our work is updated and saved but say that we were typing in more words, hello there world, notice that it automatically saved for us. Now let's say we wanted to make our program say hello five, 10, or 100 times. A quick way to do this is to use a loop. So let's pretend that we don't remember our syntax for a loop. What we can do is go to the snippet button up here, which provides code snippets. So we're going to scroll down to for loops with numbers, select insert, and now I have a for loop in my code. The for command starts the loop, i is the variable, and this is the number of times to repeat the loop. So let's repeat it five times. And then on line three is the command that we want to repeat. So let's repeat the word hello, and then click your play button to see your code's output. Let's pretend that we were typing in our code manually and we made an error. So if we wanted to click the play button to see our code's output, notice nothing happens in our preview. However, this console appeared. This console shows you the errors and bugs in your program. So notice it says bad input on line two. So what I'm going to do is I am going to jump to line two of my code and then I'm gonna check for common errors. I'm gonna check for spelling. I'm gonna check for syntax errors. And then notice that we didn't insert our colon. So now let's insert our colon and try that again. And there's our code. To learn about these other buttons in the top editor bar, make sure to check out our top editor bar tutorial. Now, let's say that you're ready to publish your amazing Python program. What you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the top navigation bar and select the share icon. And then from there, you can select this publish button to share your project within the Tinker community. But say that you're not ready to publish your project yet and you just wanna save it. What you're going to do is go to your top navigation bar and select this back arrow, find your project, and then select this pencil to go back and edit your project. 